morning, everybody, as we come to the uh, end of our week. We're, we're into Psalm 119. We could be here for the rest of the year, but we, we won't. But it's a long psalm and so much goodness in it. But just one verse today, verse 11, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart so that I won't sin against you. The, the Message Bible, I think it is, says, I've banked your promises in the vault of my heart so I won't sin myself bankrupt. Earlier verses leading up to that, the psalmist is from the New Living Translation, oh, that my actions would reflect your principles. How can I stay pure only by following your word and obeying your truth? We don't always get it right. I don't always get it right. Verse 8, the psalmist says, please don't give up on me. Thank goodness that God doesn't give up on us. We actually give up on ourselves before he ever he doesn't give up on us. So we actually give up on ourselves. He doesn't. It says we hide his word, we memorize it, we store it up, not just so that we can boast on how much we know. I remember as a kid in, in the church, we used to have these um, quiz night, quiz champions against other churches where we memorize chapters of the Bible and that ask you questions. And it was really to do with how much head knowledge you had. But it's not about storing up head knowledge, it's about storing, storing up his word in our hearts to use against the enemy when he attacks us, to strengthen ourselves, to live it out and to follow what it says. I store up his word in my heart as a training tool for my heart to help me avoid sinning or missing the mark. Sin always leads me away from God, leads me off track. Uh, it always leaves me depleted, empty, but his word keeps me on track as I listen and obey. And at times, just like you, we, I, I bypass and we go our own way. And then we come back in repentance. We get back on track. Um, and the psalmist says, I've hidden your word in my heart so that when sin comes to tempt me, I will follow your word and not my own desires. Not just my head knowledge. But my heart knowledge helps me grow and live out my salvation and live out what he says to me and who I am. Who, who, who I am. Can I encourage you today to take his word and to read it, to memorize it, to mutter it to your souls, to remind yourself for tomorrow. Because for the things that will confront you tomorrow or next week, uh, and you have to make a choice. Remember, we live in this world, but we live under a different kingdom. So what does your word tell me to do? What does your word say? Not what other people say, not what, some, not what someone else is doing. What does your word say? So I encourage you as I carry to myself, Lord, help me to hide your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. I'll not miss the mark. I will stay on track. And if you've got off track today, just repent before him. He cleanses us. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. He puts you back on track. Don't lose sight of this word. Hide it. Word. Hide it in your heart. Store it. Memorize it. Mutter it so you know what to do, even if you don't have it physically in your hand. Bless you today. It's been great being with you this week. Love you.